Hello guys, in this video we are doing momentum. Momentum is the product of objects mass and its velocity. It is represented by a small letter p. p is equal to mass of the object times its velocity. The units can be derived from the formula. The units for mass is in kg. Means for velocity is meters per second. So the units for momentum is kg meters per second. Momentum is a vector quantity with the same direction as velocity. This means momentum acts in the same direction as velocity. If the object is at 5 meters per second east, the direction of momentum will be also east. Example, it's a scale of mass 50 kg moves with the, with the velocity of 5 meters per second east. What is its momentum? The formula of calculating momentum is P is equal to mv. We are given the mass of the skater 50 kg so this is 50 multiplied by its velocity 5 meters per second 50 multiplied by 5 this gives us 250 kg meters per second this is a vector quantity so we also have to state the direction we take the direction of velocity velocity is in the eastern direction so our momentum is also acting to the east Change in momentum. Change in momentum is represented by delta P like this. When a moving object collides with another object, whether that other object is moving or stationary, it results in change in velocity for both objects and therefore a change in momentum. So meaning if the velocity changes, meaning the momentum is also going to change. The mass of the two objects will remain constant. The change in momentum can be calculated as follows. Delta P is equal to final momentum minus initial momentum. Where delta P is the change in momentum, PF is the final momentum, and PI initial momentum. From our formula, momentum is equal to MV. So our delta P is equal to PF can be broken down into M V final minus M V initial for PI. Mass is constant, so we can factor out mass then this will be v final minus v initial so this is our formula for changing momentum newton's second law of motion in terms of momentum it states that the net force acting on an object is equal to the rate of change of momentum this means f net is equal to delta p over delta t where f net represents the resultant force delta p represents change in momentum delta t represents the conduct time or time of impact impulse is the product of net force and conduct time this means by making delta p the subject of formula delta p will be equal to f net multiplied by delta t so the units of delta p they are derived from this formula the units for force is newton then the units for time is second the force is equal to mass times acceleration due to gravity so which is mg where mass is measured in kgs multiplied by s like this. So our units for impulse will be equal to kg ms negative 1. The units for impulse are equal to the units for change in momentum. So we can also define impulse as the change in momentum. The change in momentum is dependent on the magnitude of the net force and the conduct time. Impulse is a vector quantity, therefore must have direction. Example 1. A golf ball of mass 0,1 kg is driven from a tee. A golf ball experiences a force of 1000 newton while in contact with the golf club and moves away from golf club at 30 meters per second. For how long was the ball in contact with the golf club? So in this question, we are going to apply the formula for impulse, which is delta P is equal to F net applied by delta T. Or delta P it is mass multiplied by v final minus v initial which is equal to f net delta t the mass of the ball is 0 0,1 the final velocity v final is equal to 30 meters per second then v initial is equal to zero because it was initially at rest before it was released from the golf club then the f net is equal to 1000 newton so our v final which is 30 minus zero which is equal to f net 1000 multiplied by our delta t delta t equal to 0 0,1 multiplied by 30 divided by 1000 this will give us our s3 times 10 power 
negative three seconds.